<clears throat> What's going on guys? Welcome back for more Sacred Stones. In the last episode, we went to Rostin Court and protect the Pontifax from utter annihilation by guys simply because he has units which are horrible. And for some reason there's going to be stories told about them for days, however, I do not buy that one bit. So I basically want to show you guys what I did off screen. I gave everyone some pretty uber items just to make sure that they were all pretty much set for these next few chapters. Very few people have an open item slot to take something. So, well actually that's pretty much where it ends, right? After Garcia Dolza, there's an act, Dwessel, yeah, that, that is where it ends. Wow. I thought I had more yes than that. I guess so. Yeah. So everyone's pretty much ready with their statage. I mean, everyone's generally around level 7 or 5. So, I'm guessing everyone should be okay enough to take care of these next few chapters, so... I think we're pretty much good. It's time for the Black Temple, which is actually another fun chapter. See, once it gets around chapter 17, the chapters start to get really fun. According to legend, the sacred stones have sealed the evil away from the world. Four of the five stones have been destroyed, leaving only the last stone intact. The last stone must be protected to stave off the Demon King's restoration. Erica and company challenge the demons of Darkwing Woods. According to legend, the original possessors of the sacred stones defeated the Demon King in Darkwing Woods. His foul blood seeped into the land, corrupting every seed and every root. The once pristine forest was transformed by the blood of disease and venom. Legends say the Demon King's corpse lies there still, not dead, but dreaming. Dreaming of when the last stone is crushed, and he will rise from his bed of rocks and worms and return to the surface. Isn't that just a great description? Within Darkling Woods, Hideous fiends roam in increasing numbers, as if responding to some unheard call. Chapter 20 <coughs> Darkling Woods <laughs> Oh no, my rebirth will be unstoppable, irreversible. None remain who could stop me now. So if you've got time, have you? Mm -hmm. You can cloth yourself in human flesh, but you cannot hide your foul mind. Eight hundred years was long enough, Demon King. One of the Dragon King? I've seen your face before, Lizard. Yes, during that accursed battle so long ago. When those wretched men bound me in their fetters. They fought with an ally from the Dragon King. Side. I believe his name was Morva. The protection of blessed stones is lost. The dark is rising. Malevolence given will and form now walk these lands unopened. Unopposed. Ancient kings of shadow, they appear to be waiting for you. Very perceptive. And now I am here. I must tell them their way is over. I must tell them that I've been reborn. Be gone, dragon. I am changed. I am no longer stopped by the likes of you. I live and breathe to protect mankind. I cannot abandon them to you. Now, as it once did so long ago, these woods will witness your defeat. So your dragon blood still runs so hot that you would dare to stop me? Dragons. It reminds me. Not long back, I fought a rabble of men who traveled with a dragon child. Tell me, Morva, was that your daughter? Her left this place long ago to test the limits of your influence. Could she have... Could she have... What? Pray continue. You answer me, your reply will determine. <laughs> Such information has no use to you now. You have dared to challenge me. You have no time for George Sorrow. Now best to focus now on this, the moment of your death. I would hate for you to miss it. This awful darkness. I know, I can feel it too. This is Darkling Woods. 
It was here the heroes met the Demon King and with the Sacred Stones defeated him. I've heard the lingering energies of that battle are the source of the monsters, but I never imagined it would be as bad as this. It's with them before. It's grown so much stronger. Simply standing here is a struggle. But we don't need to worry. My father is here. He'll take care of everything. Your father? Over there, on the side of that swamp, is the Black Temple of the Demon King. My father stands guard near it. This is where my father and I have lived for as long as I can remember. I see. So this forest is like a home to you. Uh-huh. I get to see father again. I'm so happy. My foster father leads the dragon tribe. In the last great war, both of my true parents were killed. Mother took me and raised me as though I was his own child. So that's how you came to live here. My father holds back the monsters that are born in Darkling Woods. He's so strong and so very gentle. One day I hope to be like him. Oh! Mur, what's wrong? Princess Erica, Prince Ephraim, we're under attack. A horde of these foul beasts is heading straight towards us. Mur, are you well? If you're ill, we should get you to- No, no, it's nothing. I'll fight with you. I'll fight and we'll drive back the dark children. Oh shit. Rive, I'm leaving this to you. <laughs> As you wish. Please proceed with the rites of resurrection, sire. Alright, let's take a look at this map. Holy shit, they gave us way too many use again. Alright, so we got Rive over here. I believe he has the exact same stats he did before. Uh, yeah, I think so. Only this time, he comes with Morva. That is friggin' creepy. Leader of the Manakete tribe. He was turned into a Draco zombie. The Draco zombie picture is horrifying. Just look at that. That is actually really good. I'm very impressed with how they did that in this game. Also, another new guy. I don't think we've run into these guys before. They're Cyclopses. We might have, but I don't remember. Basically, they're just giant-ass guys with axes. They're not that bad. They're basically warriors. However, they have a lot more HP than usual. This guy is going to be a problem. He is probably the hardest boss uh, for a little while, like, in the game so far, easily. He has a lot of hit, as dragons usually do. He doesn't have a lot of critical. He has some avoid, attack, blah, 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 blah. Some basic stuff. He has a lot of defense, too, so harming him is going to be a little bit of a problem. But not too big a one. Wow, they're giving me one extra unit, so who can I bring? Everybody! Awesome! I can even bring Tethys. That's pretty cool. Alright, well then, I guess I really don't need to change anyone, and since I already edited with everyone's items, I'm pretty much good. This is not the final chapter, the next one is, so I haven't given everyone their sacred weapons yet. I will, though. Don't you worry about that one. Alright, Gilliam, you're gonna be right there, Emilia's gonna be right there, it'd probably be best if you want one right there. Taz, good there, Dwessel... Actually, I want Dwessel. Fun. Neither will I want Garcia. Natasha, get up there. Renak, you're gonna hang near the back, at rhymes. Gonna be right there, and I'm just going to be right there. Okay, then let's get everyone going. And if you look, this is a pretty big chapter, and there's a lot of stuff to deal with, but it should be easy enough. Let's go. It's just your basic monster killing. Let's roll. I'll put Eric up front, and uh, there is some things you might want to worry about. Like, I, there are these white things, which is basically the evolved from those skeletons. In fact, I think there's a lot of new things. There's another white thing there. Uh, there's gargoyles, and there are evolved forms. I wonder if there's a evolved form of Moggle here. There he is, yeah, an Archbale, or an Archmoggle. Crimson Eye and Shadow Shot. These things are annoying, but they're not that bad. They have really low HP, so... Alright, I'll move Efron up too. I might as well move Kyle up. You know what would really help? Uh, perfect. So I'm gonna move Kyle up to, like, right there. I'm going to want Kyle up front so he can get some actual support combo with Ephraim. That would really help if he could. Uh, another thing you'll have to worry about, well, more or less what I think is really annoying. This, no, not that guy. Where is he? That guy. He has a sword slayer. Don't put Joshua near him. Just saying that right now. He will not be happy. Or Erica. Don't put either of those two near him. I think that should be common knowledge, however I never knew that, and that did like 44 damage to me one time. 
It was not fun. Yeah, you do not want to get near that guy. I think Joshua hung on with like 2 HP. Do not go near that thing with any of your sword guys. Just saying. Alright. Now usually what I do in this chapter, because they give you so many units, I have a party over here. So, these guys get to go have a nice talking party. So, Renak and Dwessel, Garcia and Dolza get to have a level 20 only party. So yeah, they get to have fun there. <laughs> Soon, soon, it happens soon! Demon King will be restored to his former glory. And I, his faithful servant, will bask in his radiant power. Then, oh then, will I have my revenge on those who scorn me. The Demon King has created for me a fine weapon, a Draco Zombie, the fierce beast, and I will guard the Black Temple's entrance. As long as we stand watch, no one will interrupt his rituals. We will drown all who dare approach in this virtual month. Okay, that was kind of annoying. It is virtual mud. I mean, look, there's like poison water everywhere. Nope. Yeah, it is kind of unfortunate. They have evolved guys and they only have 21 HP. Uh, so yeah, this chapter is also pretty easy. Yeah, they, they made this game way too easy. <laughs> I would have loved if everything had doubled the HP and maybe double the stats in some instances because of how weak these guys are. But, I digress. If you want to make a hard Fire Emblem hack, base it on Fire Emblem 7. That's all I'm saying. That was the hard one. Actually, no, base it on Fire Emblem 6. That one was hard, too. Did you see the Eclipse spell in that game? It had no hit, but it could pretty much fuck you over, so... Also, Natasha is going to be really good with her Monster Slayer here. I haven't used it much, but here it just does awesome. So... Keep that in mind. Alright, I'm going to move Joshua up. I'll be a little careful with how I use him because of all those things I said about him getting his ass unholy kicked if you are careful enough. So, common knowledge, my friends. Common knowledge. And thank you for the steel sword. I really needed that. What other crap do I get? I get a Lance Reaper, an Axe Reaper, a Killer Lance. Oh, I do get that Sword Slayer. I get an Elixir. I get another elixir, I get a steel blade, why the hell, a spear, why am I getting all this stuff? What did I ever do to deserve all this? Uh, okay, and that's about it, and a voluntary for some unknown reason, okay. I never quite got why you couldn't just take the weapons off the monsters anyway, like every single monster drops their weapon. That would actually be pretty cool. It'd be annoying, because every time you kill them, you'd have to like, swap to the inventory or send an item. But in that retrospect, it make more sense, I mean, right? Alright, where's that guy with the sword slayer? Alright, you cannot reach me, so I'm gonna have Erica rush up and use her light brand. Unfortunately, light brand is not that good. In Erica's hand. Because from a distance, it counts as a magic weapon, and magic weapons don't do that great in the hands of uh, guys who aren't magical. So, common, common sense, but hey. I don't know if that's common sense or not. Alright, Ross, you get to move up, and so does Iwan. He gets to summon because I forgot to do that last turn. Alright, do you have stone? Yeah, you do have stone on you. That'd actually be pretty funny to get turned to stone by this thing. Let's watch that. Pet. <laughs> you just got turned to stone. That's pretty funny. You just turned my thing to stone. So that's kind of unfortunate. I really hope that thing doesn't become a bother. Oh damn it, I never bought a restore staff. I'm really gonna have to get that. Oh shit, but I don't have a chance to get that. Great! In the next chapter, I have the Berserk staff. Oh no. Oh no. I don't wanna have a repeat of the first game again. Great. Ow. Way to beat a man wise down, guys. Way to beat a man wise down. That was sad. Thank you, Ephraim, for putting him to death. See, the last chapter was okay, difficulty-wise. Now they just start throwing, like, guys with 21 HP or less, and it's just... I don't know. Like, why are they even trying at this point? Eh, whatever. Oh, wait a minute, I have a Latona, don't I? Great, alright, that works, that works. I forgot about that. 
Latona heals all status ailments as well, so Berserk is pretty much put to death with the uh, use of Latona. And since the Berserk staff has no chance in hell of hitting, uh, what's her name? Uh, yeah, forget her name. Whatever. Uh, Natasha, yeah, no chance of hitting Natasha. Then it shouldn't be a problem at all, so. Oh wow, those guys are actually going for level 20s. What an idiotic plan. Really? He's not using stone? Why? That's rather odd. Usually they use stone. Oh yeah, these guys start coming out of the mountains, and they have pretty decent weapons. Or just steel axes, never mind. Forget I say anything. Alright. Time to use that uh, killer edge I gave you. Wham! Nice job, Amelia. The one thing I do like about the Sword Slayer, however, it doesn't give you as much bonus. It doesn't reverse the weapon triangle as much as you would think. The only thing it really does is just give you a lot of bonus when hitting guys who have, uh, who are special Sword Slayer units. Like, look here. It does 12. However, had I put Joshua up, it would have done a lot more. In fact, I'm pretty sure I can demonstrate that. If I move you right there. Yeah, let me demonstrate how much this thing does, damage-wise. Look at that. 36. Jeez. These things, actually, I could pretty much kill him. I mean, look at that. I have a really good chance of critical link. However, I don't want to do that. Actually, I could just go at him with the Lance Reaver. Except, still, he gets a lot of extra bonus hit because it's the Sword Slayer. So, yeah, you just don't want anything to go against the Sword Slayer. It's just not a good idea. Unfortunately, Ross doesn't have a ranged weapon, so he's probably just going to have to kill this guy and take it as is. Wham! Nice job, Ross. You are a boss. Hmm, that thing had a lot of hit chance. That was weird. Alright, uh, no sprung. No, I can't kill him. Uh, let's move Gilliam up to take care of. Actually, you no, know I'll move you up. I'll have Garrick take care of this guy. Or not, I'll just have the hand axe work. It's wonders. This is the point in the game where I just stop caring about what everyone's level is and about being fair about leveling up. I just say, screw it, whoever gets me through this chapter, I'll just let it be what is. Uh, I don't need either of the stats right now, so I'll leave it as it is. Garrick, you can move up, and Naimi, you can not do anything, so I'll just leave you there. I'm really tempted to have Joshua do this. No, let's do it this way. This is more fair. This better not hit. Thank you. Aha! Nice job, Joshua. And after all that time I was saying, don't go against him with Joshua, I end up going against him with Joshua. Whatever. I don't really care that much. Uh... If I have Ephraim rush up here... You got him with the Axe Reaver. Can you move... Perfect. That won't actually work. Actually, yeah, it will. I'll go ahead with the spear. That works. So how about that weapon triangle, guys? <laughs> Doesn't look like there's any weapon triangle here. Uh, got him with a hand axe. Kyle. Kyle needs more skill. He really doesn't have a lot. Just gotta say that right now. Uh, and we got a vulnerary. That really helps, or vulnerary, however the hell you pronounce half these things. Listen to Marky Joe 1990 and how he pronounces everything, it's just crazy. He pronounces everything all correct. I'm just like, oh, that's a vulnerary. Or a vulnerary. Wow. Just, just, just wow. Zero, zero, zero critical. That, that is, that is embarrassing. Quite unfortunate. Alright, uh, Phantom, you can move up here and hit the Moggle. Nice. Uh, yeah, these guys can pretty much just take care of anything. So that guy's probably gonna go after Renak, even though it won't do anything. Oh no, maybe we'll go after one of No, that guy can't do anything to any of the three. That's Actually, no, he can do one damage point if Renak's off the forest. This is just sad. These guys are trying so hard to beat units, which simply don't look like they can be beaten. 
Okay, yeah, this is this is gonna be a good one. At least he has a chance to hurt damage, even though he can't even hit. He can at least deal damage. Oh yeah, don't rely on speed when going against the dragon guy. If you think you'll be able to dodge his attacks, you won't. Rely on someone who has a lot of deep. Oh shit, he has the devil's axe! Oh, whew, thank god. That. Oh no, not another one. You better not go after him. Don't go after him. That devil's axe was a horrible idea. I swear, if I lose him because I have a devil's axe on him, why on earth did I give him the devil's axe? There's actually a chance I could lose him because he has that thing. He could critical or he could double hit himself. Oh my god, the possibilities are stupid. Okay, thank god he has a javelin. Oh, jeez. Don't scare me like that, you asshole. Alright, I think it's time I confiscated that devil's axe or just switched to the steel bow. Get out of here. I don't want any of your shit. Oh my god. Don't scare me like that, Garcia. You have a purpose, and that's being Ross's father. Isn't that a sweet purpose? You get to be the son of the best unit in the game. What a privilege. Don't screw it up. Okay. Can Ross run across this? Nah, there's a chasm in there, isn't it? Yep, that stinks. I can pretty much have her take care of most of this over here. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do, except she doesn't have a ranged weapon. I would have preferred if she had one first. Do you have a ranged weapon, Gilliam? No, you don't. Uh, who has a javelin? Nobody. Okay, uh, thanks for that. No one has a javelin. Okay, she has one. Alright, Amelia, give- Oh wait, no, he has a spear. Alright, that works better. Alright. Here's a Actually, I don't want to waste Ross's turn. Uh, Ephraim, go over here, and I take that spear, here, you can have this, uh, Elix, nah, take the Lance Reaver, I guess, I don't know, uh, and you can sit right there, and I'll switch her to a spear the next turn, and she can pretty much just take care of everything for me, that's pretty cool, uh, he can head up and start taking care of these guys with their 50 HP. They have enormous health bars, these things. I hate them. Alright, do any of these things have anything that's threatening? Well, he has a halberd. That is pretty threatening. However, he has 76% chance of hitting, and she has 71% chance of avoiding with the sword. So, yeah, these guys got nothing on Erica. And they're all going to go after her. I know they will. They're not going to go after... Kyle, they're all gonna go after Erica. <laughs> Actually, you know, that Halberg guy might go after Kyle. I just thought about that. That might be uh, a bit of a problem. How much damage can you do? 21, he has 16. Okay, yeah, that's fine. No problem at all. Okay, now they might go after Amelia because I just did that, but oh well. Amelia can handle herself, even though she's using a javelin against these guys. I'll even throw Joshua up there. Why not? Let's just throw everybody up there. Uh, Nami, you can go over here, perch your ass in the bush. Ross can rush down that way. Luke can go down that way. Uh, she only has 33 HP, I did not realize that. Uh, might as well get Gilliam rushed out there. Are those guys gonna go after her, her now? I mean, she's level 15 with 17 resistance, 18 resistance, never mind. So there's no reason to go after Tethys. She has two good stats. So. You, oh, you can support with Tethys. Eh, why the hell not? Let's support with Tethys. Chief, truth is, Iwan and I, uh, we were abandoned by our parents. Oh, I see. Um, I wondered about little Iwan in tow. I had no idea what was happening. I was a child myself with no job. We went to bed hungry every night, and our clothes were rags. Then one day I said to myself, we cannot go on like this. I watched a dancer on a street corner and memorized all of her moves. I wasn't a very coordinated child and it was so difficult. I didn't have real shoes so my feet were a mess of blisters. I fell so many times I was covered in cuts and bruises. It was painful and miserable and very, very difficult, but I never cried. Because if I were to cry, he would cry and I loved seeing Ewan's smiling face. I wanted to see him smile all the time, so I worked hard so he could. Deathless. 
Dee. What a sad, miserable tale. I'm sorry. I was reminded of all that just recently, and I was overcome with emotion. That's how I earned the dancing skills and physique I have now. All that hard work I did back then has made me a woman I am today. What do you say to that? I'm not sure what to say. So before you made up with this, the two of you had a rough time of it, did you? Well, that's enough. The past is the past. You mustn't tell anyone about this. I don't share this story with others. I only told you because you're the chief. A story of toil and hardship doesn't quite fit my mysterious image, does it? You know what I like? For you to tell me more about you. Sure. Another time, okay? Alright, let's see this time through to the end. If we do our best, good things will come of us. And then better after that. Right, Chief? Right, Tethys. You be careful. Of course, and you too, Chief. Uh, I missed the first support conversation because I accidentally skipped it. I believe they just talk about like what their backstory is. She seems like kind of seclusive and he seems kind of eh. I don't know. Yeah, it's been a while, so whatever. Uh, is there anything I need to steal? Like, uh, is there anything I could possibly steal? Like having Renak run up and steal something? No, it does not appear to be anything I can steal. Oh well. I'm going to need uh, him for the next chapter, because there are some chests in the final chapter, which doesn't make much sense, but there are. Thank you for not criticaling, Erica, even though you had a 47% chance. Oh shit, Lance Reaver, I forgot about that. God damn it. Well, that was stupid of me. Oh well, turned out okay. These guys are idiots. I love them though. They're, they're, they're funny idiots. He just got stabbed twice in the chest with the lance. Jeez. And there comes the halberd. 26 damage. That's pretty impressive. Wait a minute. That shouldn't have killed him. Hold up. Oh no, 39, 39. I was thinking it was going to do 36. <laughs> That would have been stupid if it did 36 and somehow, like, killed him. I would have been okay with that. I mean, I'm not complaining, but hey. And Taz pretty much just going to get gang attacked by these Moggle things. And she's pretty much going to equip the spear and kill them all in one turn, practically. Yeah. I don't even know why these things are bothering to attack Tana with her uber resistance. That other one's probably just gonna run and go attack something else who has less resistance. Or not. Apparently she has the lowest resistance? That's bullcrap. There's no way she has that lower resistance. Ephron definitely has to have lower resistance. Holy shit, he moves? You guys annoy me. Well, that's kind of stupid. Why do you not despair? Why do you not surrender? Wow, Tana can actually kill him. But she chose not to, apparently. This is actually a pretty interesting battle. I'd like to see the end of this battle. They both have pretty good chances against each other to win. Well, more or less, she has the better chance of winning in the end. But, hey. Whatever. If he gets a critical, it won't even kill her. That's pretty sad. I mean, what's her resistance? 15. Oh, his resistance is 15. Hers is 14, but she's in a bush. Hers is 18. His is 8. Yeah, he probably would have gone for him, except, wow, yeah, there, there was no reason to go for anyone else. Wow, that's really sad. 13 damage. Ooh, that is impressive. No, no, it is not. Uh, I'm pretty much just going to stick with the spear and kill all these guys. Wham! Nice job, Tana. And Rive's probably going to continue to attack Tana. I forgot he moved. That's actually kind of funny. Uh, but it's not even that big of a problem, really. Sham sure would be the best thing right now. Wham. That axe looks like it cut me in half, yet it only does 8 damage. These things don't make any sense. You think they have so much attack, yet 8 damage is all I can muster. All I can muster. It is like their best stat next to their HP, but still. Actually, no, defense is their better stat. They're like generals, except they suck. <laughs> it's really sad. Alright. That's just a- aw, oh, damn it! You better get a critical again, Amelia. 
Now that's Amelia for you. Thanks, Amelia. Thanks, Amelia. Oh, 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 that was horrible. And she got some extra speed. That's good. Natasha can pretty much destroy these things. Look at that. So unfair. She can almost one-hit them, practically. If she got a critical, she could easily do it. I'm kind of missing Mulder. <laughs> oh well. Uh, let's go with the Killer Edge. Yeah, you almost have a B in Swords, so might as well go for that. Nope. And... Critical to the crotch. Um, Eric can, can rush forward and take care of this guy. Uh, if she gets a critical, she'll be able to kill him. Oh, damn it. 14 HP. I miscalculated it again. Okay, my units are really starting to overcompensate for me. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, and now that's all that's left is him. And he will move in the bushes, which is kind of unfortunate, yet it won't be that bad. This is really sad, guys. Why are you throwing these guys with javelins? And they're so low HP. It's pathetic. At least try to make the game challenging. I don't care if the game kicked my ass. I just want a challenge, goddammit. Uh, and I can't reach any of those moguls. That's unfortunate. Alright, Ephraim, might as well rush forward to Kyle so you can get some extra bonus stuff. Might as well move you out of the range so those Mongols don't start screwing about over there. Actually, I might have just moved him in range. I don't know, though. I think her sword's bigger than his axe. Jeez. Amelia's a tank. It's just so funny. You don't expect that tiny little Amelia to be in that giant-ass costume. It's crazy. Why do the whites have purple swords? I don't get that either. Is it just an extension of their body? Maybe that's why they don't drop half the time. Alright, drop the Lance Reaver, and more of those Ultra Demon guys. And now these guys are starting to cut close range. However, I just realized something. Now that I equipped through with the weapon to counteract them, they're probably going to run over and attack Tethys and, uh, yeah, Tethys. And, uh, uh, what's her name again? I don't remember. Jeez, Kyle has horrible resistance. <laughs> That's the only, only use those Moggles have. Is against someone like Kyle. And maybe Garrick. Why are they even trying? <laughs> Why? I don't get it anymore. These monsters are stupid. Ooh, I can late brand that guy. That would have been funny if it had hit. Why does it look like the horse is crying? Why am I talking out of my ass again? Ow. Alright, Tana, get a critical. Get a critical. Yeah, he didn't get a critical. Oh well. Alright, now Tenno, all she has to do is hit one of these attacks, and that guy's done. <clears throat> Thank you for that. That was a miss, however. These monsters are stupid. Why are they fighting for the Demon King? They should totally fight for me. Who is the stronger being here? Me. Why are they fighting for the Demon King? Asshats. Alright, some more of those gargoyle things. And Rive's pretty much dead. Yep, this should be it right here. Bye, Rive. <clears throat> I would have been angry if I missed. He got a critical and I missed again. <laughs> if you defeat me, you're too late to stop it. The one true demon will rise. <clears throat> and that's the end of Rive. I don't understand why he wasn't using stabs. That probably would have been a good use for him. And a perfect level up except for defense. Oh well. I'll take perfect level ups from Tana. She has a lot of attack, jeez. Uh, she has more than Erica. Yeah, she does. But she's level 9, yeah, so. 
catching up. Iwan needs more strength, too. Can this guy even do damage to that uh, dragon? I don't think he can. No, he can't. That's unfortunate. God, by the time Ross gets over there, everything is going to be dead already from Tanner. This is just really sad. I was going to get some experience, I figured. Even though I think, actually, uh... Garrick's a lower level, right? Five, seven, yes. Garrick's a lower level. Not sure why I decided to have her attack, but whatever. <coughs> Uh, anything else I want to do? Yeah, I want to move these guys up. Get out of here. Alright, might as well move Tasha up. She can shine this guy. The Shining. Get it? I don't. Yeah, I'm starting to run out of stuff to talk about already. That's, that's pretty bad. I mean... This chapter's boring enough <clears throat> without me forgetting to talk about anything. So, I don't know. Been doing this for a year and I'm out of stuff to talk about already. That's a great sign. Isn't that like a sign that you shouldn't have a marriage? Like, you need a year to figure out if you have enough stuff, stuff to talk about because you don't want to get stuck in a marriage. We realize that maybe a year down the road you don't actually have anything to talk about and it becomes a really boring marriage. I don't know, that's what I've heard at least. I don't know if that's true or not. I guess there could be something, like, I guess you could find some way to make it work out. I don't know. And I got another longbow. I have like eight of them. Stop giving me longbows. There's only one unit I use that can use them. They literally only give you two units that can use bows in the game. Well, technically three if you count Garrick, but I don't really count Garrick. So, whatever. Yeah, that guy's just basically been killed at this point, every step of the way. Why are they going after Joshua as a Lance Reaver? Would it be smarter to go after Erica? Or is there no chance to hit her either? I don't know. At this point, I just don't know about these enemies. Yeah, they're seriously tr- Oh wow, he has an Axe Reaver. He came prepared. He came prepared for that Lance Reaver. However, he probably was coming to prepare for something else. It kind of just worked in his favor, I guess. He's... Why are they attacking these people? Are they going for chances to hit, or are they going for chances to do damage? I don't know anymore. This better not hit. Ow, son of a bitch. That hurt. I don't want to use my fortified staff. Well, you know, I might as well use one usage. Or I could just use an elixir. I have, like, a ton of them. Oh, but that's more of a last resort thing. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna just use the fortify. That's a cool animation. And it gives her a lot of experience, too. But now Joshua's back up to full HP. Uh... Super Sword. I love that attack animation. It's just so pointless. He charges forward and he jumps like 50 feet in the air like NBA Horse. Does anyone remember NBA Horse? I remember NBA Horse. NBA Horse was a boss. I'm of course talking about Wrath's Horse from the last game. NBA Horse. Bam! That's not NBA Horse. NBA Horse is the old animation for the Ranger class in this game, where it basically just jump up in the air and come down. It's called the Nomadic Trooper. And wow, Kyle got some resistance. I'll actually take that because he has no resistance whatsoever. Alright, just to make sure I kill this thing. I would have killed it anyway with the Silver Lance, because he has so much skill. He, like, never misses. I don't think he has a chance to miss anything in this game. He has so much skill. Seriously, he has 152. Holy shit! He has so much hit. It's ridiculous. The boss definitely can't avoid that. How would Tana fare against the boss? I'm actually kind of... Ooh. Yep, here's what I'm talking about. That boss has some 
pretty nice statage. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got Steel Lance, Axe Reaver, Spear, Lance Reaver, Steel Blade, Armor Slayer, and a Tomahawk. Wow, that's a pretty good lineup of weapons, don't you think? So here's what I'm going to do. Put Tana in the middle of all that with a spear, and pretty much by the end of the turn, everything will be dead except for the guy with the tomahawk. This chapter is too easy. Uh, I'll get rid of that killer edge to take the nice new one. Ewan can kill this guy. I would summon, however, I feel it'd be more peritent to just kill him. It have a bigger use in the end. Please get some magic. Thank you. And it skips over defense, but I don't mind. As long as he gets some magic. He definitely needs some magic. Ross needs some speed and HP. And Amelia needs some defense. I think. Actually, what does Amelia need? Actually, you know what? Amelia's doing fine right now. Maybe she had a little more resistance. But even then, I don't really care that much. Alright, what do you guys have? Sword Slayer. Oh, damn it. There's another Sword Slayer douchebag. I might as well just move her up and have her with the... Axe Reaver, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Because that takes care of the sword. Actually, no, it doesn't. Uh, that takes care of everything but the Sword Slayer guy. Oh, well. Close enough. I'll move Erica up with her Killer Edge, and that should be good. I think that's the only danger in this chapter is the Sword Slayer guys, so... Wow. <laughs> Amelia has a low chance to hit. Wow, she doesn't have a lot of skill. Come huh. on. That's really odd. And I get a steel blade, which is total shit, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm getting so many items. This game is just trying to prepare me for the final chapter. I know it. Which is nice of it, but I don't know. Maybe it should have been uh, more like the second to last chapter in the last game, which was actually very annoying and very long and very obnoxious. Do you remember all the shit you had to do in that? Like all the enemies that kept spawning, the generals, the boss which had a Fimble Vetchifer which was really annoying. Is it more annoying than this boss? Probably. That th She had so much speed. I believe it was Sonya? I don't remember if it was Sonya or not. It might have been uh, the other one, like uh, Limstella. I don't remember. It's either Sonya or Limstella. I'm going to guess Limstella, actually. Aw, oh, damn it. I didn't know the spear was going to break. Shit. Actually, wait a minute. Why did I give her the spear? Hold up. None of these guys can go at a range except for the Tomahawk guy. This is really sad, these guys trying to uh, attack me. Like, it's really, really sad. I'm gonna have to, like, refurbish everyone's weapons, because I keep breaking against these stupid idiots. It's pretty unfortunate, so I'll have to, like, spend the rest of the next chapter screwing about with items before I actually get started on them. Tana has not gotten hit once by anyone except for Rive, and he's pretty much a guaranteed hit. This is sad. I say that so much, but honestly, what else do I have to talk about? Damn it. Alright, at least you got one hit in, Amelia. I'll take that. I mean, he didn't hit, so I don't really care. So Thanksgiving's coming up. I guess we can talk about that. Uh, not that much going on. Just average Thanksgiving stuff I'm doing. I cannot wait for that cranberry sauce. That is the best part. You cannot deny it. Cranberry sauce is the best part of Thanksgiving. You may call bullshit on that if you want. Cranberry sauce is the best part. I, I, I say it right now. It is the best part. Why? I have no idea. That stuff is just awesome. Cranberry sauce is so good. Mashed potatoes are meh. The sweet potatoes are meh. Stuff like I really don't like. I don't know why. I'm a little picky. Not too picky. Turkey's good. I like turkey. Uh, what else is good at Thanksgiving? Actually, no, I do like mashed potatoes more than I give it credit for. Mashed potatoes are pretty good. But definitely that cranberry sauce. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. Cranberry sauce is kick ass. Ugh. 
And that's pretty much the chapter. <laughs> There's nothing more to really do. Oh wow, a guy who can actually hit and do decent damage. But he's going to miss. Yeah. How'd you call that, Ross? I would have acted I would have been like so pissed if that actually hit. Oh shit. She's getting attacked by like three things with a ranged weapon and she can't even hit any of them. Because she doesn't have any ranged weapon anymore. I could have Amelia run up with her javelin. I believe she has a javelin. I don't remember. She might have her run up and give it. <laughs> Centaurs are stupid with their bows. Okay, just keep spawning more of these idiotic units which can't do anything. Honestly. Just keep trying. Keep trying. You're only delaying the inevitable, which the inevitable is your death. I'm sorry, this is probably might be news to you. I don't, I don't know if it's news to you. I've said it like 18 times already. And that's no exaggeration. I literally think I have said it that many times. But honestly, I really don't think you stand a chance against my units. I, I, I'm sorry, you just don't. Anyway, I should probably get Kyle to attack this guy right here. Oh, she has an axe reaver. I was not paying attention. I just assumed it wasn't a weapon that could have hit Kyle. Alright, well, at least Kyle did the damage. That's what's done. So. <clears throat> now I can have Ephraim run over here. He no longer has a spear, so he's just going to have to... Actually, you know what? I have a better idea. I'm going to have Erica rush over here with her light brand and take care of that guy. Alright, he's dead. And now I can have Natasha run up and have her use her light magic on this guy. I got two sword slayers. Oh my god. That's really weird. Why am I getting so many weapons? This game is just throwing them at me, practically. <clears throat> Literally. I think I'm going to get a short bow from this guy, actually. Let's see if I do. Oh no, I got an elixir. I'll take that. I'm surprised I haven't run out of inventory space yet. Jeez. Uh, do you need sword? Yeah, you do need some sword. Experience, I guess. I might as well get some. Yeah. All right, then. Might as well have Joshua run up as well. And yeah. So now everything and their mom is basically on this doorstep right here. It's kind of annoying. Uh, but since nothing really has a sword, I can pretty much just go with the Axe Reaver against this guy and basically focus all my firepower on him. Oh, I would have loved the critical there. That would have really helped. Honestly, nothing has a chance to hit Tana, and even if it did, it would do like 8 damage, so it really doesn't matter. So, honestly, I think this chapter's beat. I, I, I declare it beat. Not beat in, I declare it beat. That's how bad I beat this chapter. I declare it beat. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good one. What is that, 102 damage? Yeah, that's 102 damage right there. What's this one going to be? 99 damage? Yep, that's 99 damage right there. This came with two weapons, which technically have weapon triangle advantage against him, and they got the worst possible outcome of their attacks. Oh, throw away? No, I don't want to throw it away. Well, you know, I don't really give a shit. I finally ran out of inventory space, it seems. These guys are dropping too much shit. How am I supposed to not run out of inventory space? Well, that took care of him, even though it really wasn't necessary to get that critical in the first place, but I don't really care. Well, actually, it would have been okay to get the critical in the first place, save the Axe Reaver hits, but, uh, yeah. Can you even double this guy? I'd actually be really happy if he could. All right, Gilliam. Nice job. Does Gilliam still have, like, 12 speed? That kind of stinks if he does. This is so pathetic. It's not even funny at this point. It used to be. It used to be funny for like 
50 minutes, but after a while, it's just the same stupid shit attempting to hit Tana multiple, multiple, multiple times. Even without Arena Abuse, you can go to the Tower of Volney and just train up there. I really don't think it was an excellent idea if they wanted to make this game hard to actually include a thing where you can go back and basically fight monsters to level up. It's definitely an easier version, however, you will probably notice why they never had a map screen for Fire Emblem again, and this game is pretty much the reason. Cause it is just that simple. Have I been hit by like five things in this chapter? I don't think I have. I've dodged everything else. I think I've been hit by like five things or less. And each of them did like very little damage. Except, except for I think, uh, I don't even remember anymore. That's how pathetic it is. Well, th those guys did start getting like a combo on Joshua, so. Joshua came a little low HP, but even then that wasn't that much of a big deal. I think he came down like 27 out of 44. So honestly, it's really not that bad. And oh my god, stop spawning shit. It's just the same things. This is so pathetic. Alright, Joshua, I need you to do something for me. Win. Win? Win. Dumb. What are we waiting for? Oh wow, you can actually do damage against Joshua. I didn't realize that. Well, whatever. Joshua has a light brand, so it doesn't matter. Hell, maybe they might go for Joshua simply because they can do damage to him. Probably not, but oh well. Uh, yeah, I'll probably won't be right there. Just stick with the flux, I guess. I like how she has snakes for hands. It's just so silly. Fire Emblem, you're so silly. Alright, well, that's the end of that thing. Uh, and now Ross can pretty much just charge ahead. Unfortunately, Gilliam is now stopped here. This is the end of his rope. <coughs> so to speak. So he can no longer move. Alright, Ross, you can basically take care of this guy. I'm surprised he even has a chance to hit. But whatever, he's dead. And I get a spear. Oh, do I have to? Damn it! I don't want to drop the spear. Uh, get rid of the. I have a silver axe in reserve, so get rid of that. Uh, might as well have you rush forward. Might as well have you rush. For Everyone just rush forward. The only thing I'm really worried about is that Mago right there with the stupid shadow shot shit. Try saying that three times fast. Shadow shot shit. Shadow shot shit. Shadow shot shit. I think I got it. I don't know if I did or not. Oh, whatever. Ooh, Tana with the light brand. That could actually work out pretty well. Whatever, just stick with the... Eh. Silver Lance. Wham! Oh, wait, shit, I forgot. I was going to go for the guy with the Tomahawk. Oh, well. I don't really care that much. Tomahawk guy can do what? 24? Yeah, 11 damage. Who cares? Getting everyone ready to basically take care of Morva over here. Uh, he won't be too hard. Not hard at all, as long as you have Ross over there with the Killer Axe, and pretty much everyone else will follow suit. While these guys can do good damage against Natasha, I really don't see the purpose of attacking her with the weapon against them under obliteration, so... Yeah, it's not really a smart move. Unfortunately, these guys all have a good chance of hitting Ross as well as able to do decent damage, so Ross is going to be targeted for a little bit, which is kind of unfortunate. And he's going to decide not to dodge these 33% chances. Obviously, he wants to make the game harder on himself. Ross, you're so silly. Wow, I just got hit by 26. What the hell's going on with this turn? Why am I getting hit by everything? Now I'm going to get hit by this, won't I? Watch. Just watch. Okay, I actually dodged that one. Alright, that was weird. I was just getting hit by everything. Eh, that's just Windows crap. Oh, wait a minute. 15 shit. I gotta hurry up, don't I? Yeah, this computer logs out at 6. It's stupid, I know, but I have to hurry up, apparently. 
Or I might have to continue this tomorrow. I don't know if I can finish this in 15 turns with the constant enemy spawn. The annoyance of that. And plus there's gonna be a bunch of story shit. Oh my god. Alright, seriously, you know what? We're, we're gonna end this, like, right now. Where's Amelia? Yeah, there you are. Uh, let's get everyone out of here, basically. Alright, you better hit a critical, Joshua. Thank you. Speed that up. Alright, uh, get an elixir. I don't really care. That elixir can go to hell. Alright. We need to clear a path. These flux animations take way too long to complete, so I'm just gonna speed through them. I won't speed through the boss, but I will speed through, like, everything else. Uh, Ephraim, you can pretty much go over there and take care of that guy. Amelia, you need to rush forward, and what's your chances of hurting this guy? Nothing. Okay. So you will sit right here with your- actually, you can attack- alright, perfect. Thank you, Amelia. Ross can sit right here with, uh, a killer axe, I guess. And be okay-ish. Son of a bitch. Okay, that guy is going to be a problem. So I'll save here. I I'm sure Ross will be fine. What's your chance of hitting 65? Yeah. I can pretty much just end it right here with his uber criticals. So, but I don't really want to risk that. So I'm just going to use an elixir. Ross will be fine. Thunder, uh, and that should pretty much be the turn. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Silver Lance. Or Silver Blade, whatever. Kyle, rush forward. Uh, same with you, Erica. That guy will probably move second before the boss, and will probably target Kyle, so it's alright. Alright. Let's see what happens. Yeah, speed all this shit up, because it's just stupid shit. Okay, here we go. Now the badass fight. <laughs> okay. I should mention you do get an interesting conversation if you talk to if you have him fight uh what's her face? Uh whatever her name is. I don't remember what her name is. <coughs> her name is uh The Dragon Girl, whatever her name is. I don't really remember right now. Yeah, if you have her attack like that, then you do get an interesting conversation, considering he is her father after all. Okay, I need to seize this freaking gate already. Aw, oh, damn it. Ugh. I'm one space off. Alright, well, she's there now, so everything's good. I'll pretty much just kill all these guys and let that be as it is. Uh, you can also kill him. And finally, we'll have her kill him. Yeah, it seems plausible. Alright. Garrett can pretty much take care of all those guys, and that's pretty much it. Oh my god. Alright, you know, I kinda wanna deal with these guys. Get some extra experience. Plus, it's fun. Uh, <clears throat> one more, and Tasha can take care of him. Get the hell out of here, you stupid crimson eye asshole. That was a really bad level up. And that's everything. Well, guys, this has been Chapter 20. Wait a minute, this is Ephraim. God damn it. Oi. At least no monsters spawn. So, that's it, guys. That's the end seas and we win. So this is the Black Temple. The Demon King is here. We have to stop him before he can begin the ritual. Let's waste no time, brother. Oh yeah, it's Murr. <laughs> I'm sorry, Father. Murr. What is it? Um, I... I just met with my father. I had not seen or spoken with him for quite a while. You saw your father? Then we must speak with him. No, he told me he couldn't see you. He said it wasn't a good idea for him to meet so many new people. As a tribal chieftain, he feels he should distance himself. Is that so? That's too bad. But he offered me words of encouragement and praised my efforts thus far. He 
tell me and his kindly voice to come home to him safely. I will do my best to honor his faith in me. He sounds like a good father. He is. Mr. Serica, I'll do all that I can. For my father and for all of you as well. I will head to you and we will defeat the demon king. Are you sure you want to go with us, Mur? You had so wanted to be with your father. <coughs> yes, I'm sure. Once we are finished dealing with this evil, I will have time then. Let's hurry, Mr. Serica. I understand. Let's get moving. The faster we can end this nightmare, the better. In this building, our repulsive energy oozes. The Demon King, he's here. <sighs> yeah, it's almost time. Your beloved Erica's on her way. Erica, don't come. It's already... <laughs> yeah, Prince of Frality. To believe that a man like you thought to oppose me. You are an arrogant little insect, nothing more. And now you're dead. I would devour you, and you will be lost forever. Uh, 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 <laughs> does it hurt? Are you suffering? Oh, but it does not end for you yet. Oh no. I've left you this one shard of awareness for a reason. I want you to watch yourself as you crush Erica. You should thank me. <laughs> <laughs> and that is chapter 20 we're going straight to 21 after this and uh, unfortunately I definitely do not have time for that today so next time on Fire Emblem Sacred Stones we take care of chapter 20 light I know that because I already know what the name is I know it's chapter light fuck that's the first game well final chapter Sacred Stone next time on Boss LP. See you guys for that next time. Oh, wrong thing. Bye.